Hello, my name is Fraser Somerville. I am 14 years old and live in Glasgow. I'm Janice. I'm Fraser's mum. And this is Fraser's dad, John. Um, Fraser is 14 years old and he has uh, acetoid cerebral palsy. Um, cerebral palsy is a condition that affects your movement and can affect your speech. And Fraser has been quite severely affected, particularly his, you know, he's unable to, to walk independently and he's unable to speak uh, in such a way that the vast majority of people would understand him. Really, from the minute Fraser opens his eyes, he's presented with a lot of challenges. You know, he has to be assisted with dressing and um, eating. And the technology really has been the key to open up Fraser's world. My name's Graham Innes, Product Specialist for the North um, for Smart Box Assistive Technology. I've been supporting Fraser now for a number of years on uh, using his communication system via iGaze. So the technology that Fraser uses, the access method is eye gaze. In simple terms, it's converting eye movement into cursor control, which means that Fraser can do everything he needs to do within school that any other kids can do via a mouse. Part of Fraser's condition is he has arthritoid movement, so he's got lots of movement going on. Yet he's able to, to dwell, and that's a common access method within grid three, is that he would be sustaining his gaze on an area to select that area. Now he's fighting with every other part of his body to sustain his gaze, but he can do that. He's able to use it for communication, primarily, but secondary, uh, control his bedroom, TV, lights. Um, out with that, he's, he loves YouTube. He can navigate Word, Excel, everything that we expect from, from an able-bodied child. I'm Jacqueline Brown. I am a support worker, and I've worked with Fraser for nine years. Fraser is a phenomenal young boy, uh, absolutely a joy to work with. I think his confidence has been raised because, you know, he can speak to his friends through emails. He can arrange that um, I'm going out this Saturday. He's making the choices and why should he not be able to make the choices? He is 14 years old, he is capable, so why not? Having access to a piece of equipment like the eye gaze opens up so many different horizons in terms of allowing parents and other people to, to see parts of the personality that might not be obvious to them. He's able to access 100 cells on a page via his eyes, which is incredible. So I think we will ask Fraser uh, how he's feeling today. Fraser, can you tell us? I feel happy. He's been using eye gaze, now he's fully accessing the same as his peers at high school, in a mainstream high school. He's so talented at the minute um, and he's so clever. Um, the technology, I think, I don't even know where it'll be because looking at it just now, it's, it's phenomenal. I'd love to see him in a job somewhere. You never know, smart box might be his destination. It's just a demonstration that there's more to Fraser than meets the eye. Could Fraser be employed going forward? What could the technology allow Fraser to do?